Today, we're making a tree. Mm -hmm. That's right, I said it. So this, party people, is a 16 ounce, 32 ounce, sorry, 32 ounce uh, takeaway container. Sans lid. Um, that fits my project that I want to make perfectly. And what are we making? We're making a tree. We're making a tree. That's right. Trees! Making a tree candlelight holder. Uh, so, this is just a piece of a branch that came from my yard, essentially, uh, that I attempted to drill a hole in, but it just wasn't going the way that I wanted to, so I chucked that idea, and so now I'm going to make a silicone mold out of it. So, that being said, I am turning said tree on its little face, head, whatever, and I'm going to put in a piece of double-sided sticky tape on the bottom to stick him to our container of choice. And this way, I know it will stay put in the silicone, because if you don't know, uh, wood floats. So, I want to make sure that it stays still. Actually, darn near anything will float if the, you know, water pressure, uh, you know, the, the weight distribution between the water and whatever your, whatever's in the water shifts. Um, so anyway, sorry. Uh, science! Um, I'm going to put our tree in as middle as I can get, and I'll put some, some darkness around it so you can see, because the clear makes it kind of hard to see. Um, but this is perfect. This little container is perfect for um, this size, because I don't want a big, huge, massive, thick mold, you know? Uh, let's try to save the silicone! Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm feeling kind of silly today. And anyway, so this this is going to be the outside, obviously, of our eventual project. And then we'll work on the inside later. So let's make up some silicone. Be right back. Okie doke. So here I have four ounces of my T-Expert 10A uh, silicone. And you'll notice this is different. It's because I realized that I put the bottom on the top. Hmm. <laughs> so I fixed it. Anyway, um, so, not sure four ounces is going to cover it. Uh, I'm kind of hoping it will, but, you know, hey. I have not sealed the wood. I've not done anything to it. I dusted it off. That's basically all I did. I got the big dusty bits uh, because this has been sitting over on, um, on something, some shelf, uh, for a, a while. Uh, so I just wanted to, you know, get... Get, shut up. Rev. Just put it in silicone. If I need more, I'll make more. And it looks like I am definitely going to need more. Not much more, actually, but more. Uh, probably need another two, three ounces. So, not a problem. I shall return. Alright, so I mixed up another probably three and a half uh, because uh, I, I didn't stop pouring in, in time, so I wanted to make it even. Um, and we're going to get fancy, people. We're adding some mermaid alcohol ink. Just a little bit. Just a couple of drops. Why? Because. Why not? <sighs> So 
So we're going to let this degas in its own special way. Not using heat, not using alcohol. Why? Because it is silicone rubber. And silicone does not like heat. It, um, as I've said before, heat will make a skin on the top of your silicone. Everybody, well not everybody, but a lot of people say, oh, well, you could use a long neck lighter. Okay, go for it. If you want to use a long neck lighter, get you some long neck lighter. I choose not to use one because I don't want to run the risk. Um, so I'm just going to let this uh, degas and cure uh, naturally au naturel. Why? That's oddly appropriate because why? Well, it's a tree. Um, so I will see you guys when it's all done. Normally it takes about, depending on size and thickness, that's what she said, um, it normally takes about three to four hours uh, to cure completely, sometimes up to, you know, six to eight hours. So we're just going to let this go until it goes. And I will see you guys then. Okay. It's ready. Get it all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> there it is. All right. Looking good. Looking good. And I like that these containers give it a wee lip around the top so I don't have to. Uh, think much because we all know that I have a problem with thinking um, anyway what I'm gonna do is just because some silicone did get underneath obviously because it was an uneven tree service so I'm just going through going around whatever you want to call it going around with my utility knife We have an instant silicone stopper in the shape of a tree bottom. Anyway. Uh, all right, so. Use the sticky tape here. Get that off. Thank you. Put the blade down on that before I forget. And we'll start loosening it up. Keep in mind, there's a tree. There are going to be some tree bits in the silicone most likely because I didn't seal it, I didn't treat it, I didn't do anything because I wanted that natural tree experience. So this is So, there we have it. One unmolded tree stump. Now, some of you are probably going, I saw a tear, I saw a tear. You're right, you did. It's right there. I, I'm, just, I'm not ashamed of that. Why was there a tear there? Because that was a particularly wide part of the tree that the silicone was a little bit thinner. But it's fixable, so I'm not worried about it.
<clears throat> excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit and settle and finish uh, curing on the inside and whatnot. And to be honest with you, I'm not even going to clean it out. I don't know why. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in it. And when I pour in it, the resin <laughs> is going to take all of that out. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so I will see you guys for the project uh, later. This is just the mold making. So yeah, I'll see you for the project when it gets done. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.